Hey guys, what's up? Maya here, and today I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of Skyrim, but uh, it's going to be a little different from the last two episodes. I've actually managed to lose the save of my first game. Um, I had to reinstall the game and, you know, click the wrong button kind of thing. But uh, I've got a new character, I'm up to level 5, so this episode I'll try to take you through it. I'll try you know, explain what I've done so far. But uh, basically, as far as the main story goes, I haven't gone too far. I've killed the first dragon. Uh, if we look at our journal, I need to go speak to the Greybeards because I've actually learnt my first shout. And uh, if I speak to the Greybeards, they apparently can um, you know, train me in, in my powers. I also have two side quests, so I have to visit the College of Winterhold, and uh, that's basically so I can learn new spells, and bring one Mammoth Toss to Ysolda, and that's just, uh, you know, just a little side quest, a fetch quest, I think it's part of that whole Radiant AI or Radiant system or whatever the hell they have. Okay, so that's, oh, that's all my other stats, okay, don't need those, but yeah, that's about as far as I am, I'm up to that. Um, I'll also go through, and I may as well show you off my items, what I'm leveling into, things like that. Okay, so if I go into apparel, as you can see, I've got a pretty good amulet, uh, you know, I'm wearing light armor, basically, and basically, I'm, I'm kind of going for a stealth destruction kind of thing, uh, I can't remember what, what race I am exactly, I, I think I'm called the Khajiit, or something like that, but uh, yeah, basically, that's me there, uh, the main spells I'm using, though, whoop, oh, oh, okay, I'll put that away, sorry, little fella, Lydia, oh, Oh yeah, that's right, she's my follower. Okay, so she drew her weapon because I drew my weapon and she's just getting ready to fuck shit up with me. But no, this is my follower. She helps me out on my journeys. Um, I can't remember why she's following me. I think I did something good to impress her. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what else do I have? Magic? Magic. Okay, yeah. So uh, as you guys can see... Yeah, um, I'll try not to hit people. As you can see, flame one hand, ice another. Combine... Yeah, combine them both together, and, you know, we've got a pretty effective spell combination. It takes down people quite fast. Um, the reason I'm using two different spells, though, is at the moment my skills. Um, I've started leveling a little bit into Destruction, and I've also started leveling into the One-Handed. So, if I go over to the One-Handed skill tree, you can see that I have two out of five, and One-Handed weapons do 40% more damage. I've also changed it so power attacks with One-Handed weapons cost 25% less stamina. Now, I'm not sure how effective it's going to be leveling into two trees at once. But uh, I'm going to try it out, because at the moment, I'm having trouble deciding whether I want to go full destruction or, you know, mix in a bit of weapons. But at the moment, I'm really lacking destruction. So uh, the only level I have into it, though, is the Novice Destruction, which just, you know, halves the value of Magicka required to cast them. Okay, so, uh, wow, that's just about everything. It took a little longer than I was expecting to explain, so uh, hopefully not too many of you have closed the video down out of boredom. Uh, let's actually do something. Let's let's go talk to the uh, the Greybeards. Why the hell not? I, mean, I have to say, um, I've only just found out today how to play this game uh, without lag, basically. And if you guys want to know how to do that, I do have a video up for it. But, yeah, I, I did have maybe six episodes of my original playthrough recorded. And let's just say the frame rate in some are actually in a lot of areas was under 20, and that is visually noticeable. It's awful to watch. That's why I made a new character. I just I felt like I wasn't. I don't know. I, I'm running it on uh, high, and it looks good. Let's play. Okay, so this is where we are. We are in White Run. Oh, you can actually rotate the map. I was unaware of that. And we need to make it all the way up to this tower here. Now, if I can see any good ways to get up, that would be wonderful, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to go to the Veltheum Towers. Alright, so Telus is the hero of God of Mankind. It's probably my favorite thing so far. I mean, the game does have a little more loading screens than, you know, I, I like from my kind of RPG games. But at least the RP, um, the loading screens, they always have really, really nice detailed textured models for you to stare at. Okay, so there's a running river. And there were some bad guys up there, but they're dead now. We're not going to be worrying about them. Ah, horsey, horsey. Oh, I also level alchemy as well, for uh, those of you who are wondering. Alchemy, locksmith, uh, light armor, uh, one-handed weapons, and destruction are kind of going to be my main things. Maybe some sneaking, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I, I usually only like sneaking for when I'm using bow and arrows, personally. I don't know, I've always had trouble kind of getting up behind them uh, when I have a dagger. But maybe, maybe once I get some practice. Oh shit. Oh god, that... 
I'm not sure if that dog's dead or not. Why, why is he posed like that? Okay. Let's just keep going up. Gotta feel sorry for the poor chick following me though. Fucking, she's gonna run all the way up a mountain while I'm sitting on the horse. See you later, bitch. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I remember this place. Um, There's some trolls up there. Giant trolls, I think. I, I, I don't know what they're called exactly. But they're a little too strong for me, and I, I've, I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just continue on, and I will auto-save. Just because, you know, better safe than sorry. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to get up this way. I mean, it doesn't really look like the kind of thing a horse should be running up. But hey, I guess whatever works, works, right? Even if it does look a little retarded. I gotta say that you have to be holding on tight. Like, if, if you were to do this, you would have to have a good grip. Is me personally, I think I just slide off the back and fucking, you know, probably bring the horse down with me. Okay. So this mountain's actually quite hard to get up. I, I have the feeling I'm going the complete wrong. Huh. Okay, that... Oh, okay, I thought I was dead. Um, horsey? Oh. Oh, fuck me, not my horse. Come on, man. All the way down there, really? Okay. This is why we quick saved, and I've actually had to change my hotkey for quick save, so, uh. Yep, there we go. Keji at level 5. That sounds like me. Oh, and you guys might have just seen my real name. I wonder what it is. Okay, so red guards and natives of Hemophore, uh, yeah, whatever. Probably not okay, the best so way. I'll, I'll, I'll just try to run around this? the run around the m mountain, just around the edges like this, until I actually see more of a path that looks like it can kind of be taken. Because at the moment, this horse, stop running, stop, stop. Thank you. I don't want to actually <laughs> run off the edge again like that. Oh man. Oh, and then I get taken out by the falling horse. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's... We're, we're going to have to approach this differently. I mean, I'm, I'm being bested by a mountain here. I'm being bested by a static object. That's how you know you saw... See, I get the feeling if I just went through this way, because, like, this is a path. But... I know I'm going to die if I go up this way. Like, there is no way I can kill that troll. He is too strong. He, like, one hits me. I know that from experience. And he can see me. They can both see me. Or maybe, maybe they can't see me. Maybe that chick can see me. Oh, no. I'm hidden. Okay, let's just try to go around the edge, I guess. Hopefully get some levels into uh, sneaking, too, while we're at it. One thing I'm not sure of, actually, at the moment is whether or not they've kind of kept it the same as in Oblivion or if they've changed it completely where every 25 levels you kind of, you know, you get like a huge bonus to your perk, uh, to your skill. I mean, I, I know that's why they have the skill perk system now, but and it, it'd kind of be cool if you still got rewarded without having to waste like a level into it. Okay, so once again this is just, it's, it's not working. I just, I really, okay, so there seems to be a path coming from this side, let's just, uh, I can't fast travel, we'll go to Helgen, um, we'll, we'll see what happens there, maybe that'll work a little bit better, in the meantime, I see a wolf, uh, finally get to kill something, and is that a dead sheep, oh, it's a goat, you can't kill goats, so uh, yeah, as you can see, I kind of like dual world destruction, fairly effective so far. And thank you for the wolf pelt. Okay, so I should be able to fast travel now. And Helgen, right there. I really hope I can actually get a weapon like that though. I remember when I was playing Oblivion. And I know I'm going to keep referencing Oblivion because i got a lot of memories from Oblivion and not too many from Skyrim so far. But you always like on the loading screens or when you're installing the game even there's like screenshots of like all this really really good armor and all these really really good weapons. And I played that game. I played that game so much. 
I never once got any of those really cool looking pieces of armor or weapons. Just did not work for me. Okay, so this is where I am, and I want to attempt to run up the mountain, and, uh, yeah, I do not want the blue thing there. Okay, let's, let's try this again. The fuck? Bandits. What are bandits doing here? Oh, that's right, that'd make sense. This is the city we were in originally that I uh, got taken out. So, yeah, I suppose it would make sense that it kind of gets overrun by our uh, bandits and whatnot. Hello? There we go. Um, does he have anything? Why is this bandit carrying human flesh on him? And what part of the body is this? It looks like an organ or something, just because of that little thing sticking out the end. Oh, that's weird. Staff of the Familiar, it does no damage, it summons a familiar, uh, I'll take it because I can sell it for a lot, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I'll also take this ring. I have no other uses for you, bandit. Yeah, sure, let's let's go in, let's check out Helgen Keep. Uh, one of the main things I like to do when I play through these games is not really do the quest line so much. I mean, I'll follow it if I have nothing else to do, but as I'm following it, I'm, I'm just going to run off and I'm just going to go places and I'm going to explore. Because really, that's the only thing I find a joy about this game. It's just, you know, running out, checking out all the different things, looking at the different items. It's, yeah, it's, it's weird, but it keeps me happy. Okay, so this is exactly the same place as before. I was kind of hoping... There would actually be something in here. I'm gonna be like an idiot by the end of this, I think. Yep, there is, there is literally... Oh, 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 there we go, we got some bandits. And does he have anything? He's got a bit of gold, some lockpicks. Um, I think I need to change the difficulty to... There we go, I'll change it back up to Apprentice. And the reason I actually had it down low was because when I first ran in to those huge ass trolls that I was, uh, you know, kind of trying to avoid before, I thought maybe I could just change the difficulty, rape them, and then change it back, and, you know, I don't have to worry about dying. Uh, not the case, they, they raped me just as hard on, uh, you know, easy difficulty as they did on any other. And, yeah, this, this place is practically fucking useless. <laughs> Oh, not to worry. I'll just quickly make my way back out. Did I? Did I really? Well, don't fucking stand in front of me while I'm shooting, dummy. Potion, thank you. Another thing I actually got good at while I was kind of playing on my own was the control scheme for this. It was a little bit different to um, Oblivion and, hey, hey, that's my favorites. Excellent. I may as well show off my war axes. Why not? Let's have some fun with this. Oh, what's this? Is that pick upable? New word, pick upable. I think. See, while my weapons are a lot more effective at killing things, they're not as much fun. I don't know. May maybe it's just I don't like the jaw wielding. Maybe I should invest in a shield. I don't know, do you guys know what the best way to do the really cool one-handed power attacks is? Because the power attacks with two-handed weapons kind of suck, and... Does it count as dual wielding if you equip a spell? I, I think it does. Actually, that's working alright, that's working alright. Ah, uh, bone meal and gold, yes please. And then just while I think of it, I'll go through, um, I'll go through all my ingredients. And I hope I'm doing this the right way, but at the moment, the only way I've been able to make potions is by actually eating one of the ingredients first to discover, you know, what one of the things does. And then, you know, kind of making the spells out of them then. Okay, so I've got all these ingredients. And... Uh, see, I, I don't want to eat the known root either. That's just something I'm trying to avoid. And wow, that looked a lot better on the E3 demonstration than it does here. Okay. Oh, nope, didn't want to eat the skiver tail. Ooh, a taproot, that looks nasty, but I'll eat it anyway, why not? 
and troll fat and white caps. Okay, there we go. That? Oh, that hurts a little. Poor stamina. My weapons look really good though all of a sudden. I'm not sure what I did to them, but they look scary. Oh no, I've already looted off. Fuck me dead. Okay, I'm, I'm not as good at the hockeys as I thought I might have been. Okay, this is not working at the moment. Magic, let's, let's just do this. Destruction, flame, sparks. Ooh. I like the frost because it actually drains their stamina too. So uh, after you've kind of spammed it on them for a little while, they try to attack you and they just can't. They're just completely fucking useless. And a branded iron shield. Maybe this is what I want. But it just it doesn't feel like the right kind of armor for a, kind of a light assassin type of person. Oh, oh, wrong person. And the bandit chief is strong. Okay. Oh, 57 gold. Jackpot there. Oh, and Lydia knows what she's doing. She didn't fucking waste any time with that bandit. Just one shot, boom, dead. I like it. Uh, let's take the iron arrows. You never know when you'll need them. And do I have my things favorited? No, I do not have my spells favorited. I really should. And then if I... Can I unfavorite them through there? No, it does not seem so. It doesn't matter, that works. That was cool. That that worked exactly how I wanted this to actually. <laughs> 